What is the left? Uh, the left uh, presents itself as a um, progressive, socially um, conscious, and um, ethically driven group. They um, contrast themselves with the left, uh, with the right, that um, they depict as moribund and um, reactionary frightened of change and and progress um, mostly because it's either or they um, depict the right as either tied to Christianity or to um, a wealth driven economics namely capitalism uh, they oppose the um, strictures of um, Christianity and the um, greed-driven morality of capitalism and the um, disparities of wealth that they see that um, is associated with uh, capitalism and their profit motive. The um, interesting a part of this is that um, the left tends to be associated with the theory of evolution, the idea that man is uh, an animal and um, directly linked to um, the lower forms of life. And um, yet they tend to oppose what um, others tend to see as a uh, natural inclination of humans, whether they see this as being connected with uh, lower life forms or just with the um, fallen nature of man. And by this we mean that um, greed, the uh, avarice that um, lefts rail against, is seen as a natural part of our sinful nature or even if it's part of our animal heritage that it's survival of the fittest um, in in play um, but the left tends to want to go against this nature while they are the ones that most um, accept that it uh, exists and that it is a true characterization of who we are this division and this depiction isn't necessarily false but it misrepresents the true division between the two groups because in its um, desire to overcome our animalian nature uh, the left devises what is called a social agenda and by this they look at what's wrong and who is the cause of the wrong and they figure out a um, corporate uh, path to its alleviation so the left tends to work on the large scale and uh, they see individuals as largely the problem so the left tends to be associated with politics and uh, mass movements they tend to be associated with ideas that require uh, some kind of leader and um, a, you know a charismatic um, uh, individual to uh, spearhead the change um, and this individual is given high moral value because he or she um, has overcome his or her animalian physical uh, base um, characteristics to rise to, you know, a more godly, a more spiritual kind of being where he or she is um, pushed aside his or her baser instincts or animalian 
heritage to rise to the level of the superior human, the God creature. And this is all well and good, but it tends to have very bad um, impacts because uh, it tends to assume that one, we can, through dint of will, overcome what we are. And this creates, if nothing else, a contradiction or even a paradox, because if we are animalian, if we are physical, if we are base, how do we, this creature we have just depicted, how do we overcome this, what we are? Now, we know we can do this in a sense within ourself, but the philosophical um, explanation, the physical grounding of the explanation is very problematical. It's like a, a car willing itself to win a race in a, when it's a old jalopy. You can't overcome your fundamentals unless of course we're not physical we're not animalian we're not um, base we are actually spiritual creatures and then the option exists for us to overcome our physical nature our our base um, needs you know that are tied to our physical bodies the fallen the fallen body so this um philosophy is workable within a christian framework it's much more difficult to uh pass off as rational within the um liberal atheist um Walton Shang. So, um, looking on the right, the right tends not to be so involved in these grandoy schemes. And uh, we're tied to uh, tradition and Christianity. Christianity is very much about um, loving your neighbor, loving God, and doing what is right. And this is based on the idea that um, our first obligation is to fix our own um, sins, our own wrongdoing. So this Bible um, characterizes this as, as um, looking at the beam in our own eye before we start worrying about the straw in the eyes of others so we're not big in in reformist movements and in these um, charismatic leaders who have this grand vision who are going to lead us into the new higher order of um, being which seems to motivate so much of the left so what is the difference that we're talking about here well, the, these, this is definitely a, a distinction and there's a line here between the grandoy schemes of the left and the social agenda movement and so on and so forth. And the Christian and conservative is who is only just trying to live his own life. But this is a hard line to draw because there has to be some kind of overlap and... and uh, diffusive uh, intermingling at the uh, border but we can look at uh, something else to make the line more distinct we can look at the um, what we could call the toolbox that's needed to achieve um, the objectives of each group the um, tool or the 
tools needed by the left is um, some form of leg legitimization for these kind of uh, interference or, what's, or what can be called big government what justifies government interference what justifies this huge bureaucracy that is the legacy of the left and gets right down to what justifies communism what justifies tyranny fascism and uh, revolution and all of these great mass movements that are all meant to invoke some individual conception of what the moral uh, universe ought to look like in any um, endeavor or objective there's one s established fact and that it has to be paid for it has to be financed and so the larger the vision the greater the um, divergence from what the reality is to the um, vision the more disruption and the more change that is going to be needed and the more cost that will be encountered so um, the left but in its agenda driven um, life requires a source of funds for all of these grand schemes and it can only come from the ones who it's trying to reform and this is where you get the tyranny and the and the autocrats and all that because the more powerful the vision the man has and the more um, able he is the more charismatic um, the more he can get people around him to enforce this vision which means the um, extraction of wealth from others to uh, to see the, to build this uh, vision to uh, to manifest this vision in reality so, so but let's take a um, uh, valid um, vision that uh, we had which was to get rid of slavery well it was a great objective and it wasn't um, it wasn't engineered on the left it was engineered on the right but of course it had attributes of the left in it in its great social agenda of freeing slaves and and um, preventing the um, split of north and south to avoid the south from being able to perpetu perpetuate the slavery that it had um, got involved in so this was a great and moral um, agenda but it created huge huge costs and um, while it was um, engineered on the right it it contained too much of the left uh, narrative to uh, to work out well um, but this is how the left um, legitimizes its uh, agenda it finds something that it can grasp as a moral right a moral um, moral good and then it looks at who is the oppressor who is a, a evil one and um, who the uh, is being victimized and then it, ha it creates the organization that is going to shift the uh, society or not so much shift the society shift the resources of the oppressor 
to the oppressed so that the oppressed has the resources that um, can overcome the oppressor and um, so the division what we're pointing to here is the way the um, two groups create social change the left's engineering is based on large-scale transfers of goods of, and, and wealth which requires very strong um, authoritarian governments and into in charismatic individuals to affect this kind of change whereas the right is more focused on changing individuals changing people's hearts changing the way people think and interrelate we're about changing our relationships this is why you'll find in the bible uh, the scripture says as the slave to be not only obedient but to honor the the owner not that the owner deserves honor but the slave is to rise above his base um, bodily inclinations by gaining a spiritual love of even those who are um, mistreating him and who are uh, unworthy of any kind of honor or respect but it also tells a slave owner to treat the slave as his brother and what this means is is that the slave master relationship is a relationship and it's a power relationship and if you change the relationship to one of brother and and brother or brother sister or sister sister the dynamics of the relationship totally change it's that power disparity and if you treat the other as your brother the power disparity is eliminated and so what the social um, relationship is the legal uh, characterization or the legal description is is immaterial so let's assume or let's say you're in a environment in which a person is not allowed to be free so you can't free them so what is the option well the option is is to just ignore ignore the legal strictures and just treat the person as an equal it's this is how it is it's, it's a, a, a relationship that um, we're after and this is how the right and the left is diverge the left is looking to dominate and control and dictate and do this through large um, transfers of wealth where the right is looking to change people's hearts and to work primarily on on living in a better way and so it's the ethics of the right are on self discipline and self improvement and the right and, and the left is on on these uh, kind of social um, more changes in morality and so this is why you get the legalism on the left because the left works through law through the the group or the state imposing rules that will change the behavior of the masses and thereby create a moral society based on rules and and legal standards um, whereas the right is completely focused on the heart and um, the laws become irrelevant because the change is inside one and this is what we're working on is an internal change not the not the um, physical compliance to law but the desire to live together in harmony the love of each other the creation of the church as an ethical organization in which people are accountable to each other and love one another it's not a matter of going through the motions and 
um, living with inside some kind of legal framework. It's what's inside our hearts that matter on the right.